across the dark silence between the stars, fragments of ancient planetary systems drift for billions of years. One of those fragments plunged through our neighborhood in 2025 at speeds no human spacecraft has ever reached, carrying chemistry, structure, and history from another star system. This is the story of Comet 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object in human history, and the most revealing so far. The comet was first detected on the 1st of July 2025 by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. Once the orbit of 3I Atlas was refined, astronomers immediately recognized that the object did not belong to the solar system. The comet followed a hyperbolic trajectory with an eccentricity of 6.139, proving it was unbound to the Sun. Before this, only two interstellar objects had ever been observed. One Oumuamua in 2017, a long inactive body with no visible coma, and 2I Borisov in 2019, the first clearly active interstellar comet. Those discoveries confirmed that fragments from other planetary systems do pass through ours, but both were far slower than 3I Atlas. The hyperbolic excess velocity of 3I Atlas, the speed the object carried through interstellar space relative to the Sun, was about 58 kilometers per second. By comparison, Oumuamu arrived at 26 kilometers per second and Borisov at 32. Early discovery images showed a star-like point, prompting debate over whether 3I Atlas was a bare rocky body like Oumuamu or a true comet. Within days, the question was resolved when a diffuse cloud of gas and dust called a coma formed around the object as sunlight warmed its surface and triggered the sublimation of volatile ices. At the center of this expanding coma lies the nucleus, the solid icy core of the comet itself. Estimating the nucleus size was difficult because the bright coma hid the solid core. Hubble constrained the diameter of the nucleus to between about 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers, with most analyses favoring under one kilometer. For comparison, Borisov's nucleus was about 400 meters, while Oumuamua's elongated shape measured between 100 and 200 meters. Around the small nucleus, 3I Atlas developed a vast hierarchy of structures. The Grand Telescopio Canarias showed an inner coma roughly 25,000 by 22,400 kilometers across. Infrared observations, including from James Webb Space Telescope, revealed an even larger carbon dioxide envelope, a bright, expanding thermal glow. From its earliest detection, the comet behaved unusually. Most solar system comets begin sublimating water ice near or inside 2.7 astronomical units, but 3I Atlas was active at 6.4 astronomical units, far beyond Jupiter. The comet released carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide in unusually high proportions, with a CO2 to water ratio near 8 to 1, the highest ever recorded in any comet. Infrared emission analyses translate to carbon dioxide production of tens of kilograms per second, with some models allowing values above 100 kilograms per second. Ground-based telescopes detected cyanide, hydrogen cyanide, carbonyl sulfide, and traces of atomic nickel vapor. The Very Large Telescope measured rising amounts of cyanide and atomic nickel in the coma of 3I Atlas as it approached the Sun, with nickel released at about 4.6 grams per second and cyanide near 17.6 grams per second. The unusual feature was the presence of nickel without a matching iron signal, even though natural comets almost always show both elements together because they are forged together in supernovae. Together, these measurements of water ice, supervolatile gases, dust, and even metallic vapor show that 3I Atlas formed in an extremely cold, chemically distinct region of another planetary system far from its parent star. As activity increased, the appearance of 3I Atlas changed dramatically. Early on, the dust had a reddish tone caused by tholin-like organic compounds. As 3I Atlas moved closer to the sun, the comet's gas coma and ion tail began to glow in blue-green tones produced by fluorescing cyanogen and diatomic carbon molecules. At the same time, the comet displayed both colors clearly, a curled red dust tail trailing behind and a bright blue-green head facing the sun. The red tail is made of heavy dust grains pushed back by sunlight, while the straight blue-green tail is an ion tail of charged gas pulled directly away from the sun by the solar wind. Within the coma of 3I Atlas, estimates indicated that small dust grains with radii of about 1 micrometer were ejected at roughly 22 meters per second, while larger grains around 100 micrometers in size moved at only a few meters per second. Overall, the smallest grains contributed on the order of one kilogram per second to the dust output, while the larger grains contributed tens of kilograms per second. 
As 3i Atlas continued its journey, widespread online claims emerged suggesting that the object might be artificial, an alien probe, a transmitter, a solar-powered craft, or even a controlled vehicle adjusting its path near the sun. These ideas were fueled mainly by a burst of radioactivity detected from the comet, its unusually high interstellar speed, its small non-gravitational acceleration, and the early ambiguity over whether the object was an asteroid or a true comet. Some posts even pointed to the nearly straight-line trajectory of 3i Atlas, or temporary brightness changes, as signs of control. But each of these signals matches well-known natural cometary physics. The radio burst aligns with hydroxyl emission produced when sunlight breaks apart water molecules in the coma of 3i Atlas, not with the narrowband coherent patterns expected from communication technology. The slight trajectory deviation of the comet is fully explained by ordinary gas jets from sublimation acting like natural thrusters on a rotating nucleus. The high speed of 3i Atlas is simply the result of its original interstellar velocity combined with solar gravitational acceleration, not propulsion. And the changing brightness of the comet reflects fresh, volatile layers being exposed, not deliberate modulation. Multi-wavelength observations consistently showed normal volatile chemistry, dust jets, and coma structure, with no spectral features, energy sources, or motion patterns that suggest machinery or engineering. Overall, in every measurable way, 3i Atlas behaved like an extremely active natural comet, not a machine. On the 3rd of October, the comet passed Mars at about 0.1937 astronomical units, or roughly 29 million kilometers. Multiple spacecraft orbiting and on the surface of Mars observed 3i Atlas from unique vantage points. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter used its high-resolution imaging systems. MAVEN tracked the comet in ultraviolet as the solar wind interacted with its expanding coma, and China's Tianwen-1 recorded the comet during the close pass. Perseverance paused from its exploration of Mars and used its mast cam high-resolution stereo camera to take pictures of the comet. NASA's Psyche spacecraft, a mission headed to study the metal-rich asteroid 16 Psyche, also observed 3i Atlas on September 8th and 9th, tracking the comet from about 53 million kilometers away using its multispectral imager. These observations helped refine the trajectory of 3i Atlas and provided additional data on the comet's faint coma. Together, these platforms provided positional measurements roughly 10 times more precise than many Earth-based observations, eliminating nearly all trajectory uncertainty. Atlas reached perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, on the 29th of October at 1.356 astronomical units, or 130 million miles. As sunlight penetrated the surface layers of the comet, 3i Atlas underwent a super-sublimation event, exposing volatile rich material and producing a sharp brightening. Gas production surged, and the dust and ion tails grew longer and more structured as activity peaked. At perihelion, the heliocentric speed of 3i Atlas rose to nearly 68 kilometers per second, marking the comet's maximum orbital speed. The comet will make its closest approach to Earth on the 19th of December, at a distance of about 1.8 astronomical units, roughly 270 million kilometers, or 170 million miles. This close approach does not occur because 3i Atlas is actively moving toward Earth. In reality, the comet is already on its outbound leg after perihelion, and it is Earth's own orbital motion around the Sun that briefly brings our planet closer to the departing trajectory of 3i Atlas. Even at closest approach, the comet remains far beyond Mars and poses no danger to Earth. For scientists, this geometry is especially valuable because 3i Atlas will be bright enough for detailed spectroscopy and high-resolution imaging with large telescopes, allowing precise measurements of gas production rates, the deuterium to hydrogen ratio in its water, and the fine structure of the coma and tails as activity steadily declines. The deuterium to hydrogen ratio acts as a chemical fingerprint, revealing whether the water in 3i Atlas is similar to or very different from the water in Earth's oceans. Comparing these values tests ideas about how planets acquire water and how diverse protoplanetary disk chemistry may be across the galaxy, while also refining our picture of interstellar comet populations. Continued astrometric tracking during this window further refines the orbit of 3i Atlas and the subtle non-gravitational accelerations caused by jetting. For experienced observers using telescopes with apertures of around 30 centimeters or more, 3i Atlas is expected to remain a faint telescopic object near magnitude 12 to 13, appearing as a soft greenish coma below Regulus in the constellation Leo before dawn. 
This flyby is not a naked eye spectacle, but it is a dense measurement window and one of the best opportunities humanity has ever had to directly observe interstellar material passing through our region of space. At the same time, the scientific return has already been extraordinary, one of the highest carbon dioxide to water mixing ratios ever measured in a distant comet, extreme activity driven by super volatiles and a molecular inventory that confirms interstellar comets are far more diverse than once assumed. With these near-Earth measurements in hand, scientists can now place today's observations into a much larger galactic context by tracing where 3I Atlas came from and how long the object has been wandering between the stars. Tracing the motion of 3I Atlas backward places the comet's origin within the galactic disk. The kinematics of 3I Atlas allow a wide range of possible ages. The inbound direction of 3I Atlas pointed towards Sagittarius, near the dense region of the galactic center, marking the direction from which the comet entered our solar system. Some analyses place the comet between 3 and 11 billion years old, while others suggest between 7.6 and roughly 12 billion years if it belongs to the older, thicker disk. The comet may be older than the Sun and formed in a planetary system that no longer exists. After passing through the planetary region on its hyperbolic trajectory, 3I Atlas is now departing and will soon leave the inner solar system entirely, heading toward the constellation Hydra, from where the comet will continue outward for thousands to tens of thousands of years until it fully escapes the sun's gravitational influence. And long after it fades from view, 3I Atlas will continue its solitary drift between the stars. The comet's chemistry, structure, and violent ejection from its home system deepen our understanding of how planets and comets form across the Milky Way. Our solar system is not isolated. It sits in a galactic network of wandering objects, each carrying stories from distant suns still waiting to be discovered. If you found this exploration meaningful, consider sharing the video so others can follow the journey of 3i Atlas. And if you want deeper, evidence-driven stories about space, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. There's a universe of discoveries ahead, and I'll be here to break them down, one mission at a time.